Oh, right, you guys. So I've got my tea. I am here for a little tea time conversation about something that I've recently started doing to my business that I can't believe I didn't start earlier and I have to have to share it with you guys. I'm Lauren with This Murder Creative. I help creative small business owners work smarter in their businesses instead of harder. And today we're talking Google email archiving things. I honestly <laughs> had no idea what the difference between the delete and the archive buttons are inside of my Google workspace. And I have an automation that when a client books with me, that Zapier will create a new label inside of my Gmail account so that I can easily file things away under that label. If you want my Zapier automation of what happens when I get a new client, I will link it down below for you to check out. It is awesome. It saves me so much, not just time, but like brain space of when I do this, then I should do that. I love it. Go check it out for free yourself. So in my inbox, I always utilize the priority promotion social folder. So it just auto art, like auto puts things over and then you can drag and drop anything from your priority into promotions or social. And it'll ask you, do you want to do anything further from this sender? Keep it in promotions. And I love to do that because while I love getting some specific email newsletters, I don't want them in my priority view because those are my to do's. Those are my key actions. I love getting that to inbox zero and I just have no desire to have newsletters as action items because that's what I treat my inbox as like action items. I don't want newsletters in there. I want them files to the side. What I tend to do inside of my priorities is when I'm ready for a email that is a task for me, like in my brain it's a task, when I like finish that task and I no longer want it in my inbox, I typically use the little move button at the top and I move it into the label that was created by my Zapier for that client. Most of the things are client related that I want to file away and then I move it out of my inbox into that label. I never understood why there's, you can label it and it's in your inbox. It just, it didn't make sense. It didn't make sense to me at all. And I, it finally, it, I don't know. I learned it, it clicked something. So basically when I move it, it takes it out of my inbox. That is the same thing as archiving the email. Like basically archiving is just taking it out of your inbox. And there's a feature, like there's a drop down on the left hand side and it's called all mail. And you can see all emails, like chronologically, that they came in that got archived, that are no longer in your inbox, but they are there in your emails in your all mail. So basically like my inbox priority, promotion, social, that is just another view of anything that's current and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know why this didn't come, like I didn't understand it before. So now what I've started to do is I wish I could automate this and if anyone knows a way to do it, please let me know. But when I get an email from a client, what I'll do is I'll actually create a filter and a rule for it. So I will in the inbox, like there's the triple dots and you're gonna say filter messages like this. And when you do that, you have, it should prompt you in a different ways, but I like to have it from, and then that person's email address, but you could also have it be like the subject line or it contains the words or whatever it is. But filter messages like this, I like to have my client's email up at the top. And then at the bottom, you have create filter and then hit the apply label and select that label and select whatever like label you want to give it. So now next time that client emails you, they'll all automatically get that label attached to the e email. And then when it's no longer a to do for you and you don't want it in your inbox, you can archive it and it will put it like in their label, but out of your inbox, you don't have to move it to their label. 
So what I like about that is I don't have a quick, easy thing to move emails, especially on my phone. And it just is another step. Like there's not a, I don't know, there's not a swipe. It's not as, it's just not as convenient as archiving the email. This has already saved me so much time <laughs> in keeping my inbox organized. I've got another email all about email organization and you can find it up here at the top, but it is, yeah, this little trick and like how on earth you use are the archive feature in Gmail. It doesn't go away. It all lives in the all mail category or wherever it's been labeled in addition to it. It basically just takes off the label inbox. So you can get to inbox zero without a ton of work. And maybe inbox zero is not your goal. You have your own brain. You have your own way of working with things. It is something that I love to have just because it helps me stay organized and stay on top of things and know what I need to work on, but it might not be your jam and that's totally okay. You get to choose how you stay organized and how you stay productive inside of your business. But if that was just handy for you, I hope it helped. Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for joining me for my little tea time in the afternoon and I will see you guys next time.